alive. It's happening. There's nobody here. Oh, don't you worry. Ladies and gentlemen, from... God, I don't know. From where? <laughs> Lazy guy. Get down. Okay, ready? No, hold on, we gotta wait. My love, everybody's on here. No, we gotta wait a little bit. Okay, it's halftime. It's halftime, the score is... How many of you watch Jeopardy tonight? Okay, Ed's texting. You gotta get rid of that one. Jeff just got on. Hey, Evan's on. Hi, Evan. Evan's our photographer. He's amazing. Who is the best caddy you've ever had, truly? I don't know. Probably Eric Blavsky. Okay, ready, ladies and gentlemen? Hold on. Just what? wait, like, 20 seconds. I'm so impatient. Okay. Okay. All right, we picked 10. Hey, Jammer. We picked 10 questions. No, that's Jammer? The Jammer just said hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we picked 10 questions from that little story to answer. Thanks for watching the show tonight. And we know it's halftime of the national championship. She doesn't know what that is, but Gonzaga's playing Baylor is it right golf? now. And Baylor is up by 10. <laughs> so we have a little bit of time right now. And then we're going to go... So we're going to answer these 10 questions, and then send you right back to the game. Okay. okay, here we go from number one at Nat dot. C-L-E-N. Favorite Jeopardy category. What is favorite Jeopardy category? F- Mezzy guy, go. Go, Mezzy guy. My favorite Jeopardy category when I was on the show was probably the Bible category. I picked that because I grew up in the church, and I felt like... Uh, Mark and Kevin weren't going to be ready for that category, and I got four out of five. Brilliant answer. From number two, X C O. Colleen and a lot of ends. Uh, his writing is really difficult to read. Do you think Bach Bach could do power mode? Do you think that Bach could host better than you? Question. Do I think David Bakhtiari could host better than oh, me? Oh, Bakhtiari, Maserati. No chance, no chance in the world. Zero chance. He, he would Ed, say yes for sure. Yeah, good. Ed's on here. Hi, Ed. <laughs> uh, but no, I love Dave. But uh, hosting, I don't think, would be one of Dave's repertoire. He actually is very... He's, he's, he's very, really funny, though. He's very funny and outspoken, but he gets nervous when he has to speak in front of big crowds. Um, At Cody Road Cap, uh, is Big... Bob, your hair inspiration? Big Bob Tanyan is definitely an inspiration for me for my hair. I've been growing it out for a while. It's I had the really man bun. Really right now. Maybe you shouldn't show today. them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Big Bob is definitely an inspiration. So Big Bob, if you're watching, thank you, brother. And uh, thanks for the inspiration on the various mullets-inspired hairstyles you're going with. Wait, once you retire, you got to be the full-time host. Yo, he could be the full-time host and still play. Yeah, okay. okay. At um, John John Rock thirty four, uh, How many hours, hours did I spend studying, studying for Jeopardy? Jeopardy. You guys, it's right, impossible John, it's, it's to tough read this. Writing, yeah. But John, thanks for the question. I spent a ton of hours. I was quarantined in Montreal for a lot of uh, the beginning of the off season, hanging out with this lovely lady right here. Um, uh, Montreal has some uh, Quebec has some really tight uh, COVID rules, so I was a lot of uh, a lot of downtime, and I watched every episode on Netflix multiple times. Uh, I watched uh, old episodes I found on my phone. Uh, so I don't know how you quantify how many hours that was, baby. What do you think? Fifty, fifty to hundred. You watched probably. so much Jeopardy, you guys. Yeah, probably a hundred hours. Um. Okay. Ready. Set. Question five. At. Pen Topkin. Question six. Favorite moment of Jeopardy tonight. tonight. Favorite moment from Jeopardy tonight was obviously the final Jeopardy. Uh, one thing that, a little insight, as the host, you at my podium, I get to see what they're writing. So I saw him writing, beginning to write something about the kicking the field goal and then had to get to my spot. I didn't see the rest of his writing, so I knew that there was going to be some sort of humor in there and it allowed the reaction to be really genuine. I still... I'm not sure why we didn't kick that field goal, but um, great, uh, great job by the by the champ there on that final Jeopardy answer. At some, I could literally could not read this. Well, I don't know what that says. I uh, think it's written in German. My Matt love. Matt Twelve Rojas. 
win another Super Bowl or become the full-time Jeopardy host? Uh, both. Good answer, Matt. Good question. Right? Yes. Good answer, babe. Good question. Thank Good you, Good answer, James. Aaron. At T-G-I-E-R-Y-U 9913. Are you going to get football to host Jeopardy? This is, are you going to quit football to host Jeopardy? <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I just won MVP. I still have a lot left in the tank. I'm still going to play, and I'd love to host Jeopardy at the same time. Jeopardy films five shows a day, 46 days a year. That's 230 episodes, and I work for six months out of the year. So the other six months, I would have time to probably film... 46 days, I think. Don't you, babe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Not 100%. <laughs> you could do so much. <laughs> okay, next. At Jonah Winks. Winks. 1 to 10. How fun was it hosting Jeopardy? Would you like to do a permanent host? Jonah, it was a 10 hosting Jeopardy. I've met some amazing uh, people on the crew, some people have been there forever. <laughs> Lifers, 25 plus years working on the show, the hair and makeup ladies, the security guys, the COVID officer who was like literally attached to my hip the entire time, making sure my mask was on. Uh, Mike Richards, the EP, Lisa, Rocky, uh, Billy, the head writer, all the researchers. And you guys thought he was a football dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy and No one knows Sarah. the real you. Jimmy from the Clues Crew showed up and left me like Jimmy a great note crew. in my in my green room. Um, the stylist. I mean, it was just so many amazing people I got to meet on the show. I had a blast and and hopefully I'll go back there someday. At Mickety Mickety Mouse Mike 17, favorite Chico Bar. Favorite Chico Bar. Oh, the, the, the tiki one. No, Riley's. Riley's <laughs> just won the Barstool Best Bar in the country competition. My dear friend, Mike Ware, has been a part of Riley's and Frankie's and Fifth Street and Chico for years. Love you, Mike. And spent many great nights at Riley's. Frankie's is amazing. The Bear is amazing. Normal Street. Um, there's so many great places, uh, but uh, I'm gonna give it to Riley's. At Simon Santa Claus 7. <laughs> if you had to describe... This is the last question, by the way. If you had to describe... Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. In, th <laughs> in three words. What, what would they, they be? Do. So, in three words to describe Alex Trebek, I'm just going to hold this up and say, read his book. Uh, oh, Mr. Guy. Yeah, hi, buddy. Oh, just coming in for the finale. Oh, oh what a goodness. cuddle, buddy. 95 pounds. Just such a cuddle. Anyway, dude. this is the oh, end of our gosh. Instagram Live. Uh, I'd encourage you to read Alex's book if you're a big fan of Alex or the show. He's an amazing uh, gentleman in life and death, a true uh, a true hero and a true uh, okay. inspiration oh. to so many people. What is, hey, That's careful. Enough. Careful, um, careful. Anyway, thank you guys for watching tonight. Thanks for tuning in to the live. And Who else gets in fights with their partners about how much they get to cuddle with their dog? Is okay. it just us? <laughs> guys, keep watching Jeopardy! See you guys tomorrow. Say goodbye. Oh, say bye, Mezzy guy. Mezzy, what is German Shepherd?